here. Well, sir, I'm just as proud and happy to be down here with all you fine folks and handsome fellers, too. Now they are. Sure enough, I've been looking at them. I just look. It don't do no good, but I still look. It's kind of like going down to the depot and watching the trains go by. You love to hear the whistle even if you ain't going nowhere. <laughs> but I did have two nice-looking fellers kind of look at me tonight as I was walking in out there. There was two of the handsomest fellers standing there, and I looked over at them and smiled, and they looked over at me and laughed out loud. <laughs> One of them said to the other, he said, I believe that's the ugliest woman I ever seen in my life. The other one said, yes, yeah, she's awful ugly, but she might be a pretty good old girl. You know, beauty's only skin deep. And the other one said, well, let's skin her. <laughs> See, I can't help the way I look. When they passed around looks, I thought they said books. And I said, give me a funny one. <laughs> but I... <laughs> Well, so this other feller, he says to me, he says, Now, I believe I recognize that girl. Said, that's that Minnie Pearl. Said, she's been down there at the Grand Ole Opry for 175 and a half years. He said, she carries on like she's from the country. He said, I bet she ain't from the country. He said, I bet she don't know a goose from a gander. I turned around, I said, well, at Grinder's Switch, we don't worry about that. We just put them all out there together and let them figure it out for themselves. <laughs> oh, so far we ain't had no complaints, hardly at all, you might say. Well, so though my feller, he had a fit about me coming off over here. You know, he gets worried about me when I leave Grinder Switch and come over here to Nashville. He does. He worries. He said, one of these nights... You'll get over there around that Grand Ole Opry and one of them fellas over there will run off with you. <laughs> I wish they would. <laughs> I just said that because it's so. <laughs> no, he, he said last night he'd come by the house. And, oh, you know, it, it is so romantical. It is late. It's about 8.30, I reckon. And we were sitting there on the double settee in the front room and I was sitting by him and him by me and one by each and each by the other. We were just sitting there. Oh, it is a romantical, except for one thing. We got a great big old tall grandfather clock. Stands away tall again the wall, and it ticks so slow. Every time my fella comes over there to keep me company, sound like that old clock saying, take your time, take your time. I ought to get one in my fast ticking little clocks that goes, get together, get together, get together. <laughs> Ain't this awful grown girl of 18 up here carrying on so silly? He said, what would you do? We're sitting there just looking at one another, just like two frogs under a collard leaf and it a raining. He said, what would you do if you was to get off up there around where all them handsome fellas are up there in the city and run up on a bunch of one of them fast fellas, them city broke fellas that'd just kiss you at the drop of a hat? What would you do? I said, I reckon I'd be all the time dropping my hat. <laughs> I ain't had no trouble yet. I'm still hoping. <laughs> Law, I ain't been kissed in so long. I forgot whether it's done to drawing in your breath or blowing it out. <laughs> That's right now. It's your <laughs> They say kissing spreads germs. I sure have spent a lot of healthy evenings in my life. <laughs> we had a party the other night at Grinder's Switch, where I live at, and, and right in the middle of it, they started playing a game where they drawed a circle in the middle of the floor, and a girl would stand in the middle of the circle, and a fella would either have to kiss her or pay a fine. I made $11.34. <laughs> One old boy didn't have no money with him, said he'd pay me come Saturday. <laughs> But I'd like to take you all with me to Grinder Switch sometime. Now, I've been talking about Grinder Switch for now on to 20 years up here at the Grand Ole Opry, and there's several folks have asked me about Grinder Switch, and I'd just love to take you with me. We've got more going on down there than you've ever seen. River runs every day, train runs once a week. Everything going on down there, it's exciting. Now, last week, Seif Jones got one of them newfangled oil stoves, and that thing blowed up, blowed Seif and his old lady clean out the top of the roof. First time they've been out together since they got married. <laughs> he, <laughs> he ain't 
like Lim Perkins. He takes his wife with him everywhere he goes. I said to him one day, I said, Lim, you're so thoughty. You take your wife with you everywhere you go. He said, yeah, she's so ugly, I'd rather take her with me than to kiss her goodbye. (laughs) 